Alright guys, we're back. Break Room Blitz. Thanks for joining us for our discussion. Yeah. So as you probably know, we just went to go see Doctor Strange. Woo. I would say one of the top movies that Marvel has, <laughs> that Marvel has done. Yeah. <laughs> you, ain't, you don't got out your system, huh? I'm oh, sorry. I just, oh, just, just, still there. <laughs> just Magic. All the hype. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, I would say it's one of the top movies that Marvel has done. One of the most one of the most enjoyable movies, I think. It's you don't even need to know about the character, and I think that oh, that's yeah, the beauty of it. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, just yeah. like easy watch the whole way through it. Everybody that goes to the theater, they don't know. They're barely getting into the whole superhero Marvel scene. It makes it such an easy watch, especially yeah. like the newer generation. Well, not only that, but the Benedict Cameron was the be best driving utensil. And the, the thing is that you're introduced to this character and you're attached to him right away, just who he is. Yeah. Right. It, 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 it's such yeah, a he, he's a. I think he's a great actor. I wanted. To, he seemed like a, a method act, actor because he was very arrogant. Yeah. And I, I'm assuming, I would hope he's not like that in real life. He's very cocky you know? in his persona of this character. Right. But we kind of, you know what? I kind of got that same sense of when he did the second Star Trek movie. Into mm. Darkness, I think it was called. Mm. And he was like, Khan. And so I kind of got that sense of like, I'm like this superior being, you know? It's like, yeah, he's you know. more menacing then, though. Yeah, I mean, he yeah. played the villain role. But like in this, you know, where he's just like the cocky, you know, doctor. And like, they gave us a sense of like intellect and the sense of like, you know, he really knows what he's doing as this doctor. You know, he's like a high level doctor, you know, doing these crazy brain surgeries. Yeah, and the thing is, he wasn't cocky to the point where I hated him. No, yeah. I, that's what, like, yeah. I mean, usually when I meet a cocky character, I'm like, I freaking want to sleep. He talks and talks and he walks I think talk, if you worked with him, you probably walk. would hate him. I don't know, because he was having fun in the surgery room. He was talking to his, his he people. He was talking down to that first doctor that made the that, mistake. Well, that was a huge mistake. That, that huge patient mistake. would have died. He was going to chop this dude up and, and send out his organs when the guy was still yes. alive. I'm sorry, I can't. Everyone doesn't have a yes. photogenic memory, okay? Um, she, the, the opinion should be done the I, I don't way. know anything about bullets. I went to medical school. <laughs> okay? But it's going to make still. the other doctors a better person. It doesn't matter if they ultimately hate him as a person, so long as they learn a lesson going forward. It's fine, fine, it comes fine. with a life. It comes with a life. Yes. With I would not agree. Life. I didn't hate him. I thought he was. Thought he did pretty well. It, um, it was just enough like arrogance in him to still like continue liking him throughout yeah. the movie, and and they changed that. Yeah. All right. So we got Tilda Swinton in this. She's Brilliant. the ancient one. Oh, she's right. Such a great. Oh, wow. she played uh, Michael in. Uh, um, Constantine. 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 Yeah. The angel. The right? angel. Yes. Um, she's, she's a very brilliant actor. She's great. I, I just, I loved you. Woman. I thought, man, you she amazing. brought so much to the movie. Yeah. She did. I just, I was blown away. Every single time that she was on set as the ancient one, like, I was like, yes, it's about to go down. And what? like, yeah. like when, when I think about wizards, I think about my boy Gandalf. I think about like, you know. Doctor Strange now, but I also think about her. Oh, you know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was the way she looked at things, too, because it's like, even though she's like, I don't know, just the way she looked, yeah. the way she, she looked at through the movie, her eyes, the way... Like, she was just, like, like, really smooth. She like, seemed very movies. wise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, she did, she really did the part really well. Yes. I would have to agree. Yeah. yeah. Ancient one, score. Till and, the, of till course, we got yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch. Our Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. New hero. Benny. Benny. I feel like he was just kind of made to play that that role. I, th I feel like he was. Yeah. I feel like the moment they like said, "Hey, we're doing Doctor Strange. You want to call Benedict?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Definitely. And then we got now. This is I'm gonna mess this name up. She would tell. She would tell. Edgy of four. Edgy of four. Yeah. Sorry, um, dude. <laughs> yeah, Chewy. Yeah, Chewy. Uh, <laughs> Um, you know what? I I really liked him in the in the movie. I, I I'm sad that he had to be a bad guy, but yeah. I mean, um, at the end of the credits, stay after the credits because it shows you like how he goes forward into being a bad guy. Yeah, yeah. But it's but a reasonable. Yeah, it's it, it's understandable though, right? right? It, it's it's definitely out of anger. Like the thing is, he was you know, when you're taught something and you're you're told that this is the way it is, and then all of a sudden those who are all of a sudden, at top of you, yeah. they're not following that. It, it does actually show the difference. Technically, I want to say between a Boy Scout and the one that's doing what's necessary. Yeah. So the ancient one, you know, she did something she shouldn't have done, but she did it for the greater good. Right. And it also technically sacrificed herself. And so did so did Doctor Strange. And he wouldn't he wouldn't cross that boundary. Right. But he's also that nece necessary character because, I mean. That's what you're supposed to do. Right. So, yeah, I, I just, I really liked his character a lot. Yeah, I, yeah, I liked the, the training was, that he did. Because yeah. he also seems wise. When yeah. when uh, Doctor Strange first walks up to the door, 
He's like, you sure you don't want to? We don't need to be over there. He was like, you know what? I was once like you. Yeah. I was once disrespectful. Right. I was <laughs> like, <laughs> are you gonna learn today? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. yeah. He had a, a very um, keen intellect. Yeah. About him that I really liked. Yeah. I was very sad to see him turn heel, but yeah. I'm hoping maybe there. But might you know be what? Some I, there. I'm hoping that it doesn't go all the way over. Maybe he's redeemable in the next one because he was a very upstanding guy. Yeah. yeah, you know, he, even though he had these conflicting thoughts, mm-hmm. he actually still pulled it together. Like I feel for him. Had to do he, to the end. He's a character that they give us to make you feel like, damn, like I see where you're coming from. Yeah, like why can't you guys just work together? I like you both. You know, he's right. our he's our anti venom or like you know he's our uh, villain. Anti hero. You know? Anti hero. Right. I mean, he's like a punisher. He's like a vigilante. Yeah, and yeah. that seems to be what the direction. We, I mean, we don't really know this is going to happen in the next one. Right. But they were implicating that uh, Benedict. Wong, uh, that's my, he's one of my favorite characters oh. of the whole movie, right? Wong. Uh, of, uh, I don't, he's one of, one of my favorite characters, one of my favorite, I don't want to say actors, okay. but whenever I see him playing something, I'm like, all right, I'm already enjoying it. Because <laughs> cause he's in um, Marco Polo, a Netflix Marco Polo, and right. he's a great con, that's a, the king. Yes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. So every time I see him, I'm like, yes, let's go, yeah. what you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> you know, I, I love it. They, nice. they amped up his character in Marco Polo, and I was expecting something out of this one, and it fell short. They took it uh, away from him. That's why I got my 8.5, man. Oh, was, man. Like, I, I, I really wanted more out I of him. I liked him as a character. Because they, when they presented him, they presented him as this badass, like, I'll know if you take one of these books out of the library. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, he's, like, he's the shit. Yeah. You know, so, and then when it was his turn, we didn't get to see nothing. Maybe we'll get to see it in the director's cut. Yeah. Yeah. But what what they I'm gave us sure. was yeah I'm pretty sure they they cut out some of his fight scenes and I, I, yeah. I was really looking forward to it because when they showed him and he freaking pulled out his his, his relic I'm yeah. like I'm like all right this, he this walked dude. out there by himself yeah. yeah so I'm like oh you must think you the shit you yeah. must think you can go out there and hang mm-hmm. but no. you know what they gave us something in the movie that was so shocking was that like. It went down, and we missed out on it because when Doctor Strange is reversing everything, they show that like he has like this pillar sticking yeah. out of him, and he was dead. Oh, he yeah, had killed him. Like yeah. the building fell on him, and I was just like, "You killed Wong." It's almost like they really <laughs> slammed him into something, like right. into a pipe. I'm like, oh, I need to see that. Yeah, like what happened? How did he slip up for you to be able to slam him? He's a pretty big guy. Yeah, right. You know. Yeah. So, okay, so Doctor Strange, how'd you guys? As far as the development of the of the character, did you guys like how they, he led up into being Doctor Strange? Because I have my issues with it. So. Um, no, I, I I really like the way that they did it with it. And um, th- there's a couple of things that I'll be nitpicky about just for the sake of uh, the way the pacing of the movie was, which I kind of understand. So at the very beginning, they kind of give us who he was, arrogant doctor, you know, and then bam, right away, car accident, and then he has to change his life around. That whole thing, it kind of went by really quick for me, but the movie is Doctor Strange. Let's turn him into, you know, a Sorcerer Supreme. See, already. I appreciate that because when you get, like, origins of Batman, origins of Spider-Man, it goes on and on. I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, we know, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> let's get this web slinging now, okay? Yes. I yeah. don't need all this. So I actually, it was interesting yes. because he was already an adult. Right. Go all the way back to when he was a kid. Already, already an adult, he's in a powerful position, right? And he gets broke. Yeah, exactly you know? that. Like that, that you you put it perfectly because when when you think about it, uh, you know, Batman Begins. You know, it shows Christian Bale's character, and he's traveling up to the temple, and it's just this long journey, right? Until he actually yeah. becomes Batman with the full-on suit. You know, it's way too long. So Marvel did it right with this one. They they paced it accordingly. I just felt it was a little fast, but I understand why. What do you think? Um, I enjoyed the pacing. Uh, you know, the, the, the thing is, I can't just I can't look at the movie as a singular most of the time, specifically because I have to compare it to everything that I've watched before. So the past couple DC movies, for instance, pacing was atrocious. Whew. And when I compare it to that, that's what makes me enjoy this. And now, now it you got to say fighting words. You know what I'm saying? I, I have like... to. I'm sorry, but I mean, even I mean, you go back to Suicide Squad. I, I, it felt like two different movies. The pacing was just so crazy. And this movie, in the beginning, yeah, it, it, maybe that, that transition did go a little quick, but it still went slow enough for me to like really get a feel for how it was going. Mm-hmm. It made me feel like 
these were happening in sequential days. I didn't feel like this all happened in one day. Exactly, no. There was a journey. Just, yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I, that's, a, that's a perfect thing to say right now, is I felt like I had a journey through this movie. Yeah. Now, I guarantee you, with the, edit, uh, the, the director's cut, it's going to feel even better like that, specifically because those pieces that were missing... I bet you fifty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 it might be, it might be in there. But I, I like to see I'm what they did. Totally with down. You, yeah, yeah. I honestly wish that I'm. I'm pretty sure eventually they're going to say, okay, we're not going to make you edit it as much, and we will sit through a two and a half hour movie just because. I don't mind that. that. You know what? If it's going to be, but you know what? That's okay. That's one of my issues. So mm-hmm. I liked the pace all the way up into where he becomes Doctor Strange, like. Full on now, I'm going to be Doctor Strange. Because he struggles this whole time, and then all of a sudden, he meets the main antagonist, and then he's able to, you know, go go toe-to-toe with him without any issues. Yeah, he runs a little bit. Yeah, he hides a little bit. But when they're actually interacting, he's not getting he's not getting stabbed to where he just, like, can't, you know, move anymore. Yeah. You know, he's actually hanging. And I didn't like that because I felt that it, he needed a little more training. I felt that maybe someone needed to save him, okay. you know, and that would have maybe made him step up a little bit. I, I just didn't like that transition to where he became Doctor Strange. Everything else up into that, I did like it, but I don't feel like I don't feel like Marvel takes risk. They don't take chances, like you said. Maybe we'll enjoy it more if the director's cut. Just give me if it's a good movie. If you believe in it, just give. Yeah, yeah. That's all I ask. Yeah, and then I won't have to be having these graphs and I can give you a 10. I, I, you know what? <laughs> on the flip side of that, I, I, you know, okay, well, uh, first of all, I agree with you on that because uh, they, they took a safe approach when it came down to it, you know. Yeah. They, they, but they need to make him be Doctor Strange already, you know, because there's a lot of Marvel Universe that they're not going to be able to do a Doctor Strange 2 in time enough for giving us... Um, uh, Thor Ragnarok or even Infinity War, yeah. you know, they're not going to give us that. So they got to give us what they have now. Boom! At the end of the movie, you're going to be the Sorcerer Supreme, and you're going to defeat one of your main villains in even the Marvel universe. I get it, I, I, and, I, and I can appreciate it. It's kind of a double-edged sword, you know. I want them to uh, hurry up, but slow down at the same time. Hurry up and slow down, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, because I, I, I just want to feel like. They did something different. I feel like it's always safe. It's great pace. Like it's a B all the way through, you know. But it's never like oh, oh my gosh. It's never like oh my gosh. I can't believe they did that. I never walk out the theater after a Marvel movie like oh like my that. god. Did you I just see what that? that? I never feel like that. I always like, oh, that's this good. Movie. Yeah. And, and and I think uh, one of the movies that I felt like that this year was X Men. Where's my X Men? Where where are they? Uh, X Men. Uh, oh, that's the one we covered up. That's <laughs> where's my X Men. <laughs> Yeah, X Men. I would say that's how we felt out of the theater. I like, felt oh my like gosh, because Marvel does. They never show you how. There's never no sense of urgency. There's never no sense of I'm gonna die if I don't get this done. Like at the end, right. Doctor Strange's like, you know what? Hmm, I'm gonna just jump up in that other dimension and bargain with him. Like what? He came up with something clever though. Oh, he did. Well, like, and that's the thing. It's like, clever. In, in in kind of a little bit, just because I have to be me, a little bit of rebuttal to to the uh, the way he transitioned in. Uh, I think the big, biggest thing for me to be okay with the way it was done was if you looked at the difference between the two characters, uh, the one that Chewie, we're going to call him Chewie. Chewie. Um, yeah. When you saw them fighting together, Doctor Strange was running more while Chewie was hanging back fighting. And that showed me the difference between the two of them. Doctor Strange had to run. And that cape did a lot of work for him, if you really think about it. And he was hanging, but it was like hanging literally, like to me, it was hanging by a thread. And he was literally using technically a thread to fight this dude off. And he's got a freaking sword. <laughs> And so it just, um, the, the balance between it, no. I, can, I can say it was still, he was probably hanging with him a little too he much. Was, he was way better than but the Guardians that they appointed for those different He was rounds. better than the Guardians. He, he definitely was. Because and he that took, Guardian that was like, there was supposed three. to be like awesome. Yeah. And he got annihilated pretty quickly. Right. Um, that's so, what I'm saying. Like, but, I get it. I get it. Uh, so that's your rebuttal to my speed, I guess. How well, the, yeah, because the, the, the thing pace. is, I, the, look, the pace was the, the pace. I, I enjoyed the pace for the most part, but the rebuttal into the transition to becoming Doctor Strange, um, I feel like it wasn't done. If it was like, it's, it's a fine line. 
So there's overdoing it and underdoing it, and I, I, they're, they're right on that line with me. They're on the safe line. Yeah, I think it's, they, it's they, a safe and line. You're right. They, it's they, a, they, it's they, they safe. took the safe route, I get it. but because you know, it, it works, it makes money. It's yeah. easier for the broader audience, basically. Yeah. You know what you want to see and what I want to see. I want to see you know these guardians and him like assist the guardians, but the mm. guardians fall and he have to step up. Yeah. Right. You know because you can't just be like okay, guardians fall now it's me versus three. I just got into this, yeah. you know? It's right. like, I can't even open up my portal here. Hold on a minute. <laughs> you know? And they showed that, because he was yeah. trying to do both shields, and then this the one faded one away. Yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah. that's why you can't fight him. Yeah. Why does not make any sense? Yeah. But, uh, you know, they did, you know, as an alternate, they kind of, like, he, he was resourceful as far as, like, what he had around him. Oh, yeah, he was, definitely. He, anal he analyzed the situation, and... You know, play to no, his I, I, I like. I don't want to make it seem like I didn't like the movie and it wasn't good. Those are just my little things. That's why I got an eight point five and yeah. not a nine point five or yeah. a ten. I would give a movie a ten. Yeah. There are some movies that just set the bar, and they might not be perfect, but they're about as best as going to be. So I can give it a ten. Yeah. But yeah. this, but Marvel, I don't feel like they do that. Yeah. But they give you, they give you what everyone would want. Right. Yeah. They make that yes. compromise for everyone. Yeah, the general audience. Right, and they're like, okay. Yeah. I, like I, can, I can say that with a couple of movies, too, because like, I think one of the key elements you brought up was the urgency. Yeah. Um, sometimes I haven't felt that. And like even in Ultron, I didn't feel urgency. No, you know? Ultron and the so, Captain America, the third with the uh, Civil War, there's no urgency. There's no yeah, urgency in those I think movies, there's that moment yeah, where you have time. to feel like you're yeah. going to lose the battle. You know, like the first Avengers had that. It definitely yeah. had that. Yeah, we, but, got, we got a lot um, of stuff but, uh, going on in that, those that, movies. But and maybe they got flack for that. I don't know, but I mean, it's a good movie. I, I definitely liked it. I like the visuals. They, they, I feel like they save the um, Inception yes. visual effects for this movie. Yeah. Okay. So oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad that you brought that up because honestly, this entire movie. Uh, okay. I, I like to compare some of my favorite movies. This is definitely up there under like some of my favorite Marvel movies. But when I take a look at this movie, I compare it to exactly what The Matrix is. Because we have our Ancient One, which is kind of like our Morpheus character. Or, yeah. you know, the Chiwetel Ejiofor Mordor. Um, and he's teaching the one, which is Doctor Strange. And we have our love interest, our Trinity, our chick that's in, you know, the background. Right. Yeah. Um, and then we have all these stunning visuals, you know. Inception meets Matrix, and he's trying to learn. Um, ultimately, you know, he, like... You know, finds his own kind of element to. So what like, are you saying? Thing. So I mean, because really, <laughs> you're just saying how they don't make any risk. They don't take any risk and they copy things. They they played it safe, obviously. They played it safe, and but like when it comes to like visuals, they did not play it safe. They went completely out of the box. I had not seen anything. Yeah. Now when you talk uh, about yeah. you know what's Inception and like you know the world folding over itself and kaleidoscoping into like all these different parts, mm. I love that. And then they sh they gave us dimensions. I didn't expect any of that to happen. Like yeah, it was how of, far I, they went I, into it. It reminded me of like a kid when you would look into this is it a kaleidoscope. Yeah, you look much. into that yeah, thing that, and all the like, different little beads or whatever are reflecting off of these different mirrors. Like and the everything. confetti and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then it makes all these shapes. Yeah, it kind of was nostalgia. nostalgia yeah, it was awesome. a little bit. It was, I, I love I that. I feel like they took it up a whole new level too because the thing is, in Inception, things didn't fuse quite like this did. This world was literally organic. Yeah, and like I, this is another key element that I really enjoyed about the movie is um. With Doctor Strange, is it, it breaks the barrier and it shows you the difference between reading and practical application. He read about all these spells. Mm -hmm. He knows how to do them. He knows, I guess, that the method of, yeah. of what's written, but practical application stops him from actually progressing. Yeah, and that's what comes next. It, it was the he, didn't believe, he didn't really believe he was holding himself it back. Was the he could understand and I, exactly. And I, I like the way that they mentioned, like you know, it, it's all in your mind. You know, you, you put whatever barriers in your mind, and you have to break them down. Right. So he was like, oh, because it's because of my hands, I can't do it. Right. And exactly. then the, yeah. the 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 girl or the the ancient one brings yeah. out the guy with the nub. Yeah. He's like. Psh. This guy that was missing yeah, a hand, right? I can do and it. he's like, Ch -ch -ch. I'm not making fun of anybody right now. And that's what really happened in the movie. That was it the beauty of it for me. That was one key element that just made me love this movie is just the fact that you can read the book all you want, but unless you actually become it, yeah. you're, you're just a replicant of what's written. Like you're right. knowledgeable of yeah. the subject, but Congratulations, you, you understand it. Right. You know? but yeah, so that, that was just a beautiful thing that I love Yeah, it, it, was, it was a lot of like, uh, you know, breaking out of the box. Like, you know, Thor brings up, you know, his world is magic and science are both, and then this kind of bridges that gap with you know magic and science. And they I don't think it bridges it at all. She's telling you that there's only so much as you can learn from science. 
you have to open. She mentions the little bitty keyhole that you got to look through with science, and now you're trying to expand that, but you can't because you need to go ahead and go with the spiritual. Mm-hmm. I don't think it, it bridges it. It really says that you're so little with what you know. It, it's a different type of healing. Mm-hmm. It's a spiritual healing. You know, right. he he heals the physical because he's a doctor. He can see it. It's science right. makes sense. So, so, so I mean, as as far as our like villain role here to villain complex. They took it like so many steps further because they got uh, our actor Mads Mikkelsen and he was like our main antagonist throughout the whole movie. And then like he bridged the gap between like the other dimension, our Dormammu character, this okay. devilish character. Yeah. And I didn't think that they were going to show as much as they did with him. I know, right? When this shows Dormammu, I was like, yes! Visually, it was awesome. Oh, and yeah, then, this is a great job. You know, plot twists, we find out that the Ancient One was also using the dark magic. Yeah. And so they took like three steps of that villain, you know. It was like, I actually didn't like the villain. No, I why? thought he was just kind of gullible. I thought that he was like, no, 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 you, you kept this from me, and then he just goes with the other side and not knowing all the information. And I, well, no, did you did you realize? So the thing is, he they gave, they dropped hints for him, and I related to him because you remember that part where he's talking to Doctor Strange and he's like he's explaining to him and he's crying. The thing is, he yes. lost his family. Right. They died. So the reason why he's he he realized because the thing is, he realized that um, the ancient one was stealing life, and um, he realized that Dormammu doesn't allow life to be taken. Right. So the thing is, to him, by he, by that happening, he no longer has to lose anybody. By by Dormammu cutting and it's ruling, not, it's not true. You saw at the end that he got his exactly. his life taken. But this is right. this is what it's yeah. well, maybe. So it's it, like. The he's just the, the big them. kid. He's a big baby. Well, that's the thing, though. He he wasn't under the condition. This is the thing. It was a misconception. You don't realize what Dormammu is. Right. And he, you know, Dormammu obviously is going to mislead specifically because he wants to get what he wants overall. Right. These were his puppets. And this guy believed that by doing this, by, by, by opening these gates, he would open up a world where people wouldn't have to lose anybody anymore and feel the pain that he I felt. understand that, but it, look at your face, man. Look at your face. <laughs> That's exactly like, what Doctor Strange like said. You, that was hilarious. He's you're like, dying right face. now. That looks like death. Right. Right. What do you yes. mean? And, um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you argue that fact, but I mean, he, maybe you know, from a villain, he's already twisted. You know, he thinks yeah. that going over to the dark side. You know, it's it's the whole thing with Anakin and Darth Sidious. He wanted to have the power to stop people from dying, but he became dark. You know, himself. You know, so. And sometimes I get tr- tired of that transitional villain. Trickery. Give me, give me that transformed villain. But the thing is, the reason why I was completely okay with it is because when we went with Dorm- Dormammu, he didn't care. He killed Doctor Strange like I 30 love times. I love Dormammu, I'm here that. to bargain. I wish he would have done that <laughs> one more time. <laughs> Just one more time. One time. <laughs> you were laughing the whole time. It was I was. It was so good. Yeah, it, it just was. was. It was like, like visually, like it was so good. Like, like let, let's kill Doctor. How, how many times can we kill, kill Doctor Stranger? <laughs> how many different ways can right. we do this? Yeah, you know, and it's just like with their mom. Was, that's what I'm saying is he was a villain. Action. Fewer words. He's like, well, you can kill me. Or... <laughs> right. So it's just like, I loved that. And that gave me the vindictiveness that Dormammu is. That's who he is. And I'm you know just, what? When I was thinking about, like, I wish he would have maybe taken a little more time. I feel like someone at that caliber would have more patience than what he did. But as I think about it, he says that I brought a element into your world that you don't have, and that's time. So maybe he's not, he wasn't used to that feeling of time, so it felt like it was maybe longer than what it really was. Yeah, sure. And he was done with this game. Yeah. Fine. He was done with it like the first time around. <laughs> yeah, right. like, I kill you, you're dead. Let's move on. Right. Let me take over this place. Right. What's like, happening here? What are you doing? <laughs> right. It's just so like a time I, I, loop. I might be just reading this out a little bit, but... The biggest thing I love about this whole time thing uh, is that they finally gave us a time infinity stone. Yeah. So they gave us one more Infinity Stone. I'm counting four Infinity Stones now. We're missing one. One more. One yeah, more get, to go. I think we're getting that in, in Ragnarok, maybe. Ragnarok or maybe even Guardians 2. Yeah. Let's get off one of them. I do want to touch base real quick. Sorry. I know I know. I want to wrap this up. But uh, there's one trigger scene that just completely, like I mentioned earlier, how it completely immersed me. Um, but that one part, and it meant a lot to me. But when the Ancient One was dying, and she went out just to watch the thunderstorm in the snow, and the way she was talking to him... And that, that the whole faith thing, like a lot of what I've been going through recently on a personal basis, especially in that collaborative in that scene, like I felt like it was just it was just there. But the one thing that she said and the one thing that just blew everything up for me was 
she, she she just told him it's not about you and that immediately just that to me that's something everyone should take from this movie is this world's not about us it's about doing for others and that's what that's what she was trying to teach him and that that by far that that was a key element in this movie that completely just hit me right in the system. So there was a lot why. of yeah. lot of there was a good uh, lessons drama. to yeah. learn. Yeah. yeah, like I, what what hit me before we go <laughs> was that she when was movie he's something. in the hospital <laughs> and his I guess quote unquote girlfriend yeah was sh- shaving him right you know and it was she wasn't actually you know putting any IV in him she wasn't giving him any medicine no. but she was just making sure he didn't look crazy right. while he was in there. You yeah. know, like, because he can't do it in himself. It's, it's not something he could do. It's a little thing. Like, little right. things like that, I like. I like, like, I like, I like, like a she, woman like that. She cares for you, you know? <laughs> she, that's love, though. The thing is that it's someone who literally is giving, what sucks is he wasn't giving, reciprocating it, and that's why she she could have found someone that was going to hand her that, you know? But right. um, that, that's love. They cared for each other, you know? So it's definitely, you got lessons learned, you got heartfelt stuff, you got your action, you got your intellectual, you got your uh, hero to villain. Yeah. You got a lot of stuff in this movie. So many elements. And, and ladies, I'm telling you, go watch it. I promise you. Oh, you it's got Benny it. in it, but the love story in it, I'm telling you, you guys are going to be like... Yeah. And totally. you're going to laugh. You're going <laughs> to laugh. You're gonna yeah. laugh. After watching this Plenty. movie, you're going to be hooked and you want to watch all the other Marvel movies that you missed. Oh, you got to you know what? Beyonce is calling for you. She's saying, <laughs> all the same ladies. <laughs> watch the movie and you understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys don't know what they're talking oh. about. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap it up. I'm DeAnthony. Adan. Coach. We're Break Room Blitz, baby. Take care, guys. We're out. Watch it. Peace. Hellbunga. <laughs>